Hello YouTube. Hello YouTube. This is Ambi. Today we are on Fedora, not on Windows. Uh, this is my Fedora 27, and we are just have Notebook installed there. It doesn't matter whether you're on Windows, Mac, or Fedora, or any other operating system, as long as you have the browser-based IPython here. That is Jupyter Notebook. Uh, it will all be the same. But now let's talk about um, Python closures, shall we? So what are Python clo uh, closures? We will learn about Python closures by defining, by doing stuff, by doing it, instead of just talking about it. Uh, I don't, I'm not, a, I'm not much of a theory guy. So F, so this is, as you know, a new way of uh, defining strings. I'm sorry, using variables inside string. I will say name, right? So you might be wondering what is this? Uh, why is my uh, Jupyter Notebook looking like this? I have installed a Chrome add-on called, uh, well, I forgot the name of this. Where is that? Okay, wherever, uh, you can just find out, uh, just uh, uh, go to Chrome store and get this add-on with this. I think there's just uh, three add-ons for Jupyter. And this is one of them with most users. Um, it will give you themes to select. So it's much pleasing to your eyes. Save to your eyes as well, inner and end. Right, uh, this is a parent function order and it takes a variable name. Uh, I am storing that variable here. Uh, I'm modifying or I'm including that variable name inside this uh, variable called text. So I am defining another inner function or child function. And this, the task of the child function is just this. So finally, I am going to call that function. We are calling, printing the inner function, right? So let's see what happens when I do this right so it says namaste ambi right very simple so abo is an example of a nested function here uh, you call the outer function the outer function runs the inner function and finally get the output let us now replace the inner uh this thing you know uh with return inner and see what happens so control a control c that is we are just gonna copy paste this here and alter it. Here I am going to do return inner. I am going to just return the function, not the entire value of the function. And I will run outer and b and let's see what happens. So uh, the behavior has changed. You now see that it returns the inner function instead of printing the output of the inner. Uh, so what happened? Well, nothing happened. Uh, just say control A, control C. So we're gonna make it make something happen. We will say a equals this, and next line, and call a. So namaste ambi. So uh, by doing this return inner, we extended the scope of this inner function outside of its uh, regular scope. That is parent function. This is the outer outer is parent function. Inner is a child function. The scope of inner function is limited, or a child function is limited to an our you know its parent function. But here we are extending that to the outside to an you know, outside of the parent function, right? So let's uh do a bit more. Okay, uh the above let's do this. Right, and see what happens. All right, so that is same. Uh, so closures help us access function outside the scope. Function inner uh, has its scope only inside outer outer uh, function, but closures allow us to extend the scope of inner uh, inner function outside its normal scope. Sometimes we want a function to retain a value when it was created, even though the scope ceased to exist. When you have uh, fewer functions, then go for closures. I'll go with a class or object-oriented programming. Now let's do something here. Uh, del 
outer, that is delete outer, right, and see what happens, a, so namaste ambi, it's still there, so I'm delete, I have deleted the outer, the parent function, but the child function still has its scope, it's still working out, it's still working, so we notice that even the parent function outer is deleted, the, uh, the a parenthesis was still able to call it child function, that's uh, pretty interesting. Uh, now let's do one more thing. Uh, define razor, so not the razor blade. Okay. So define power x, and then return n raised to x. Return power. Okay. Now we will see a equals a equals razor to print a right so yeah i mean it's working as we expected as it usually would we will do print a two uh two four okay that's correct b equals razor uh three and two what happens here if I call B, right? So uh, let's um, do another one. Okay, razor mm, three and uh, five, two forty three, uh, razor three, three, twenty seven. So here I'm passing the value uh, of the parent function and the child function just like this. So these are uh, closures. Uh, you might find some scenarios where you want to use it. Sharing is caring. Thank you for tuning in and you have a great one.